Hi guys, this is Ellie and you are watching Ferns on the Porch. There is a story that is at least in two Gospels, if not all four of them, about Jesus entering the temple. It was, I think, uh, just before the time of the Passover, so it was full of lots of visitors from all over the place. And they were in the temple, in the outer courts, and they were changing money. There was all kinds of like money-changing hands, and people were purchasing their birds and animals and things for sacrifice during this time of Passover, if I'm not mistaken. And I, this kind of vision, you know, or sometimes you kind of just have a knowing or an understanding or God just gives you a picture of this scene. And this came to me, you know, it's, it's been months ago now. And it was very clear of Jesus. And it talks about him going through and being really angry, really angry with what was going on in his father's house. And it made him angry. Um, Almost you could say that he lost control, but we know that Jesus didn't sin. Um, he never sinned. He was the one without sin. He was fully God, but he was also fully human. And he had this anger, this rage against what was going on. And I just kind of had this like moment of clarity about that. Like, okay, there's things that we do in our lives and things that are done to us that make God really angry. Um, I think sometimes that we hear maybe uh, descriptions of Jesus, at least, you know, from why, what I understand, and we, we kind of get stuck on this. Jesus is this sweet, meek, you know, he's a loving, like, shepherd and kind, and he is. He's all those things. But he also flipped tables. Like, he got really mad and was flipping tables. There's even, in I, th I think it was Mark, um, it describes him like sitting down, like patiently, like making a whip to freak out on these people. And it's just kind of a, it's a very different picture of this loving, kind Jesus. Now, I think at least the key for my understanding of this is it's not so much that he was, yeah, he was mad at like people that were doing things you know, that, that were against his plan, you know, in, in the temple, you know, this place where we're supposed to be coming near to God's presence. And the thing that angered him, at least from my understanding, the thing that really angered him was all these things in the way, these things in between us and a relationship with God the Father. So what is it in my life, in my own brain, you know, maybe thoughts that I have or distractions around me. Like, what is there that's right now between me and God the Father in that relationship as Jesus had it with his own father? What is it that I need Jesus to like clean house in my own life and flip some tables and tell me this does not belong here? Um, there's certainly a time and a place for a gentle, loving, kind Jesus. But I think sometimes if we have, if we've had a negative image of a man in our life of, uh, of anger that is out of control, then sometimes we have a hard time with that. Um, I grew up with a good dad who I did not see. I mean, I could count on one hand the times that I've ever seen my dad like lose control and it was never lashed out at me. So that's not an image that, that scares me about Jesus. And if you're, you know, if you're a person who grew up with a, a rage dad, I, I feel for you and I understand. I think there is a time and a place and a purpose for an, an anger um, that we saw in those gospels. So um, maybe that's something that you need to examine in your own life. Are there things that I need Jesus to clean house in my own life? Are there things that are being done to you that are separating you from a closer relationship with him? I would say, Jesus, flip those tables. Like, get in there and clean house for me and help me to be closer um, to God the Father as you had intended um, in the beginning. So I hope that image helps you. And um, feel free to like, subscribe, and share with your friends.